All right, so day three, um, it's like almost 11 o'clock, so I've already done the uh, passion, which really does wake you up. Like, it, if you're slugging, man, that stuff helps. Um, I'll probably say that every single time I'll do it, because it's absolutely freaking true. Um, so the passion, the alkylate, I've already had my morning shake. Um, I had set an alarm for 10.45 to have my mid-morning meal or mid-morning snack, sorry, um, because today is the first day of meal day, um, and, uh, I bumped it back, um, 30 minutes, because I am nowhere near hungry, because I only finished my shake, like, an hour ago, um, so I bumped it back, because she told me I could bump it, like, back an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, so I bumped it back 30 minutes, figuring that in 30 minutes, if I'm even slightly hungry, that, you know, okay, I'll eat something, or maybe, you know, I'll, come between the two and bump it back to like 15 minutes after that so that would be 45 minutes after type thing um which also I kind of started looking at like how close certain things were and kind of tried to spread them out a little more even because I last night in my I, I didn't do that I guess properly um even though I know I said yesterday I'm I'm just gonna be really weird um because I read last night uh that you can in the first 48 hours lose uh three to eight pounds um which I was like holy shit uh you know maybe my like I know there was some confusion with my um scale last night like totally no or yesterday I totally know that so um curiosity and shits and giggles again just because I read that last night I did it this morning and it says 239 so it's still within that eight pounds so maybe it's still a little bit wrong but I stepped on it like seven times and I never got wacky things so um, and I don't remember if I remember I said it yesterday but like because it went wacky I took out all the batteries and I put the batteries back in so I'm wondering if it just was having a hiccup I'm still gonna go out today when I go shopping by like Duracell or um, Energizer, sorry, the, the bunny, um, and all that, so that, you know, it's got high quality batteries in there, I don't know, um, I don't know if that's just, you know, product placement, you know, oh, this battery is so much better, because it's Excel, Excel, <laughs> Duracell, or Energizer, not knockoff brand, where, you know, at least in food, you know, if you buy Safeway versus I don't know, Oscar Myers, uh, brand of meat, you're pretty much the same as long as it's, you know, healthy, it's just one might be slightly cheaper, um, I kind of having that moment of no, not with batteries, so, um, I'm gonna do that, um, I'm feeling really good still this morning, um, the last night, um, cause I also use, so Yoli has the app, um, which is really, really cool. Um, so that's where I get my reminders of like, hey, you should eat this, or you should be doing this, which some things I'm like, oh, thank you for that. So it's kind of cool. Um, so I have the Yoli app right there. The other thing is I have a Fibbit. This is a Fibbit, um, charge. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm not getting paid by Yoli or Fibbit to anything. This is just my stuff, um, my personal opinions. Um, I love the charge. I had a Flex. Um, and I kept having problems with the flex, uh, and of course I started having problems after the one year warranty. Um, now I've only had the charge for a month, month and a half. Um, and the reason why I went back, I went to a charge instead of getting another flex is I liked, I, I liked the fact that it, um, because with the, the flex, all you get, and it's really small, it's smaller than this, and I used to wear the flex on this hand, um, and a watch on this hand, and, um, you know, ew, uh, uh, brain fart. So, but with the flex, all it gave you was dots across it, like, oh, you've reached three out of five dots, and five dots meant, like, a 10,000 steps, but you never knew how close you were so that was kind of like the bummer thing I almost 
downgraded. I don't know if it's downgrading or moving slightly over. Almost got the um, Fibbit One, which is a little device. It's about like that big, and you can put it in your pocket or you can put it, you know, clip it to your bra, and you're able to click it. And it actually tells you how many steps that you took. And I was like, you know what? I'm almost, I'm almost thinking about that. I even have thought about going all the way down to the zip, because I was like, you know, and it's a little circle one. And I was like, you put it in your pocket or your your bra, and you just go. And I'm like, because I just want to know, like, okay, am I at 5,000 steps or am I at 7,000 steps where I'm just about to go? Like, am I on this end of this? You know, it's like the spectrum of that dot is this. Am I on here or am I here? Like, how close am I really? And like, really, how much have I done? And then my friend got a Fibbit charge. At the beginning of the summer and um he works for disney and he was like oh my gosh it's the most amazing thing you know besides the fact that it's a watch you can then see your um how many steps you've taken you can see the calories you've burned you can see the number of flights of stairs you've walked um there's something else oh but also this one sleep tracks sleep where the fibbit flex does that um, you can put the Fibbit one on your arm with a device, because my I have a friend who has that one as well, um, that can track sleep. Um, but the if I remember correctly, because I've only seen it like once or twice, it's like the band is like this big, and you put it on so it does here, and you slip it in. And I'm just like, okay, I don't want to wear something that big. So she kind of like, I think she stopped using it. And the zip doesn't have that feature at all. And all it does is, I think track steps and maybe calories burned don't quote me on that um and all that but I kind of then started thinking and then um <laughs> I was like you know what I normally wear a watch also you know I have the Fibbit like I I go in sports where I have like a whole bunch of stuff on this wrist and then like nothing and it just kind of um one of the other things is I, I sprained and damaged the tendons really badly like at Easter um, so in April so since from April to September I had some type of brace on this hand um, so it was actually for the first time I got rid of a watch tan I used to have a nasty watch tan um, but what then I had was a nasty brace tan um, so like this section of my hand and this part of my wrist like from here to here was this nasty tan or nasty white and then this was all tan and this was all tan. It actually looked at my fingers were like I had stuck them in dirt. It was weird. Um, but so anyway, so I'm like, okay, watch, blah, blah. You know, I want a new Fibbit and all that stuff. And I even looked at Jawbones and stuff like that. And the Jawbone just kind of didn't, I didn't kind of like it. Uh, one of the things is because it wraps around your wrist and it's easy to pull up, like, pull like if someone catches it will come straight off like this you actually have to like somehow get that to do that which I've had it fall off once unexpectedly um but it's because my purse slipped down my arm caught it and it pulled it um but like I was able to like oh crap um so I went with a Fibbit obviously I have a Fibbit charge um and all that so um I have the Fibbit app and it was really really cool and then I have the my fitness pal which is basically um keeping track of your food so i had it all set up and all this other stuff and like yesterday like the last two days when you go to enter in so with everything like i was supposed to apparently eat like 1600 calories yesterday and that's to set up that i want to lose at 246, go to 200 by losing two pounds a week. Now, I know with Yoli, I was going to lose more than that um, and all that. But with everything that I ate on Thursday, so the first day, only came out to 934 calories. But I also gained, because I walked so much, 142 calories back. So I had like 790, I almost had 800 calories that I could eat. That I had, like, I could totally, well... The problem is, is if you don't, so it's going to pull up if you've never seen it. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Okay, we're just going to get glare. So, damn, that sucks. I won't be able to show you what I want to show you. Eh, okay, fine, whatever. So, when you're done with entering everything, you hit complete this entry. And I get this message that says, based on your total calories consumed for today, you are likely not eating enough. 
for a safe weight loss, the National Institute of Health recommends no less than 1,000 to 1,200 calories for women and 1,200 to 1,500 calories for men. So I didn't even hit 1,000. So it's like, oh, you blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. the, f Maybe it was just the first day and, you know, whatever. Well, I kind of did the same thing yesterday, um, though apparently exercise did not account. I didn't walk enough. Um, <gasps> butterfly. Sorry, it was like one of those big, beautiful butterflies. Not like the little white brown ones. It was like, I'm not joking, it was like this. It just flew by my window. Sorry. Um, by the way, my name's Kat. There's a reason why. It might be a shortened version of my real name, but I have cat tendencies. Um, so, when I went last night to enter, I entered everything in that I, and I know yesterday I didn't eat properly, but I still somehow actually apparently ate about the same calories because I had 802 remaining and I didn't get any from exercise um, and all that and I go to hit the complete at this entry and the same thing happens so I'm going to today and today's the first meal day so I'm thinking I'm gonna be eating a little bit more calories but I dropped my goal to only a thousand I think I'm now gonna up that up to 12 because um, that says you know do anywhere from a thousand but I'm a little worried that even if I only do 800, if I'm at 1,000, it's going to be like, you haven't eaten enough. Because it says you need to eat at least 1,000 calories. So I think I'm going to hit that today because part of it is I'm going to be eating some carbs. They're complex carbs, but I'm thinking that's going to bump it up. But I contacted my friend who got me hooked with this and asked her if she could send me her normal protein day and meal day plan because what I think that I've decided that I did wrong was at lunch, yes, you're supposed to have two to four ounces of protein, but you can have it in the sense of have a salad. So you get the calories of a salad, but you have the two to four ounces of protein on it. So like go have a chicken salad, like and you know, be careful with whatever dressing. Or maybe it's don't be careful with whatever dressing you're allowed to eat whatever you want. And I think that's something that I need to have a conversation with uh, my friend Anisha um, about um, that I think I interpreted something wrong so that's why I'm not getting enough calories which then I'm afraid that this is then it's going to affect this differently that you know I know if you don't eat enough technically your body's supposed to starve itself and it will start eating this instead of what you want so um, I texted her. I'm waiting for a reply. Um, I searched for a thing, and there are, there's recipes for that to say like, oh, these are good for protein days. Oh, these are good for um, protein and meal days, or just meal days, or it's good for protein days if you take this off, but if you want it for meal day, put this. So that's why I'm thinking that I have done something wrong. That I was supposed to at my lunch be able to go and have a protein style chicken sandwich so I could have the lettuce the chicken if I ate tomatoes you know stuff like that so I'm thinking I might have done something and you're allowed to do that at the meal time so like lunch and I know on meal days you're supposed to have a little more mealish and there's some things like I know the mid-morning snack is supposed to only be protein but there's the um afternoon snack that has complex carbs in it as well so I think I've done something wrong so I'm going to find that out, and if I find it out today, I'll make another video to update it, um, or it will just be in tonight's um, video. So, day three. See you in the next video.